Hello, I'm Dr. Zarek Boyd, and I'm delighted to introduce you to the life planning process. I serve as President and Chief Learning Officer of Max Life Incorporated, which I established in 2003. I was introduced to the life planning process in 2000, a few years before I started Max Life and went through the two-day intensive in 2001 with a certified facilitator in California. And it wrecked my life. I was forced to actually look at my life, not just run my life. It gave me an opportunity not just to think about what I'm to do in this life, but who am I becoming in this life? I was trained by Tom Patterson, the mastermind of the life planning process. Tom has been internationally known with leaders and organizations all across this globe. And he devised a process that helped organizations gain clarity and purpose and significance and to help weed out the waste. And so out of that, he realized that there needed to be also a process for individuals so that they can actually get the most out of this life. I was the first African-American woman facilitator. I went through the advanced certification process and I've been facilitating life plans and life plan workshops since 2006 in diverse settings and with diverse populations. And I'm currently partnering with the Patterson Center and Fielding Graduate University to provide leadership development for individuals in under-resourced under communities, utilizing key tools in the life planning process. So this process, trust me, is like none other. It doesn't do what normally kind of the Western approach is. You see a problem, you jump on it as with as much speed as possible. The Patterson process takes a different approach, a more balanced approach, looking at different lenses, being very thoughtful, gaining perspective from different, from different vantage points in order to see what actually is the root problem and what needs to be done as a result. Some of the features of the process, it is a spiritually designed process. It's safe. So with your certified facilitator, there's a safe place there's a private one-on-one -on -one session. This isn't about the facilitator's life. This is about your life. This is probably one of the most intensive times where you will have a spotlight on you, giving yourself permission to think, to process, to wrestle, and to dream. It's an intense two days, and it's proven. This process has been happening for close to 50 years with thousands of leaders across the globe. And you'll be able to tackle and address some of life's most important questions. So this process has four distinct phases. You have the life planning perspective phase, and you answer the question, where am I now? Too often we jump to where we want to be, or maybe we stay too, too closely to where we've been, but we don't actually look at where are you now? And then the second part, the planning part, is what's important now. Then you move into how am I doing, this management phase, and then moving fourthly into renewal. What needs to change? Answering these four questions is so vital for our lives. Too often we move from one thing to another without gaining and investing in proper reflection. So here is a a slew of tools that we use in the process. Again, this is a very tested and proven process to help an individual gain clarity, to discover who they are and what they're designed to do best. Not just what they can do, but what are they designed to do best, to gain kind of this pathway, this journey towards mastery in this life and actually make a significant difference in this life. So there's a host of tools that happen before you come to the life planning experience. On day one is a full eight hour day. Day two 
you begin to land the plane. And then after the life planning process, I have embedded in my process as I work with leaders, three touch points at minimum after you engage in those two days so that you can install, integrate, and continue to gain support and encouragement in the life that you have been designed to live. So here's a, one of the tools. This is my win will, my personal win will. As you go through the process, you'll talk about your life domains and making sure that you're investing in each of those domains. Too often, our career gets 90% of our energy, our time, our resources. But this allows you to really think holistically about your life. And so we are all on a journey to fulfill this purpose in life. Many of us, we start at the searching and discovering where you start wrestling with these questions and knowing that something just it just doesn't feel right then you begin to gain awareness then you move to renewing and adapting it's like ah oh, i know that i need to invest in rest and so how do i actually do that in a very authentic and consistent fashion then you begin to filter and focus where you begin to really look at okay saying how you say yes and how you say no and, and having good handles on that and then moving to the surrendering and owning your life we all find ourselves at some point on this journey and sometimes we go back to a, another phase in the journey but the idea is to be on the journey and move forward so some of the next steps is purchase Tom Patterson's book, Living the Life You're Meant to Live. The Patterson Center has more information. You can actually find a facilitator if you're interested in talking uh, about the two-day intensive. They have referrals where they'll share, hey, you have this person in your area, contact them. I know as I work with leaders, I give them a readiness questionnaire because sometimes life planning is right, but sometimes it may not be the right time. So you want to gain as much insight on whether or not the life planning process is for you. And then if so, when do you need to move forward? So I challenge you to be wrecked in all the good ways through the life planning process.